Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Um, just going to show you how to service this gearbox. Um, this gearbox is made by ZF and the code is 6HP26. Uh, you'll find it in Ford Falcons and Territories of like. Um, you can see there, 6HP26. With a metal pan, these ones also come with a plastic sump. Um, the whole plastic sump has to be replaced. The metal pan, we will replace the gasket and the filter inside. So I'm going to start by undoing all of the bolts around this side. We'll put the oil drainer and then when we get to these ends that are still in, we'll start cracking them and we'll lower it down. So I'll start that process and I'll show you what that looks like. So I've got all the bolts out apart from three of them and the pan has dropped down enough where it's now draining out. It doesn't have a drain plug on this thing so um, now we can take the outer two out and then start working on the middle bolt and it will drop the pan further further down obviously catching the oil as we go. So we can go and just pull this gasket down. This green gasket is the genuine Ford gasket. Um, I would imagine this thing's not been off before by the colour of the oil. This car's done 65,000 Ks. Definitely should have been serviced before. By This is the first time that we've ever seen this car. It may well have been serviced. Um, and people do replace the original well, with a genuine gasket, the green one. But sometimes we have them leak. We've got the filter in there. We just need to pull that down. Give it a bit of a wiggle. You'll get some oil come out. Okay. We can just give the uh, surface a bit of a wipe up. Over in the bench we have a brand new uh, ZF filter. We have the genuine gasket. But what we do, um, this is off a 6R80 and we can use this gasket. It's a bit thicker, has a nice rubber lip on there. Does a much better job. A little bit cheaper for the customer as well. Um, removes all p possibility of the gasket leaking. Over here, we have the pan. We're just going to give that a clean out. We'll take the magnets out, give those a clean, um, and then we'll start with the reassembly. So I've got um, pan cleaned up. You need to clean up the magnets and put those in there, but just show you that the 6R80 gasket is the same as the 6HP26. So a nice little conversion just to make it a little bit nicer for the customer. When you're putting the filter in, you've got your seal here. Usually they come out. Uh, oh wow, usually. Okay, so that one's actually stuck in there. So there's a couple of ways you can go about it. You can try and take this off here, pop that in there, or you can take it out of there pop it back in i like to change it so i'm going to get that out just a little pry bar on the middle of the seal and lever it down do not scratch the outside of that where it's sealing you're going to have dramas so this is basically how the filter just sits in there um, actually uses the pan as well to hold it up you need to look in there make sure that that goes over there but just a bit of crc on that seal and slide it on up so we've got our um, transmission pan face nice and clean. Just give the magnets a clean and we'll pop this back on. Magnets in, we'll run over and we'll uh, put this pan up. So literally you just pop it up like that and put the bolts in, start doing them up. So we we'll just just... Um Nip these up with this little T bar. They really don't need to be that tight, as you can see. Just nipping them up. Already went round and basically seated all of them. So we're just giving them a little bit of a talk. We can go by one wrist click, depending on how long you've been in the industry for. Might be two. If you're old, might be none if you're still an apprentice. But um, 
I just go around and check them twice. And then we'll show you the fill procedure. All good, sir. So this is the fill plug, also the level plug. Um, so we've obviously got that out. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start pumping the oil in here. Um, when it starts, basically starts running out, we'll have somebody in the car, they're gonna start the car, pull it through the gears, park, reverse, neutral drive, a couple seconds in each, and we'll start pumping some more in. So basically when it starts running out again, um, that's when we set our level, put the plug back in, and happy days. We will show you that, so we'll get uh, somebody in the car and bring it back up. So we've got our uh, genuine ZF lifeguard six fluid for the six speeds, and uh, just going up, gonna get pumped into the side of the gearbox there. So I'll pump that in and uh, when it starts running out, we'll uh, start the car up. So just like that, start the car, Joe. As you can see, it stops uh, flowing out. That's because the uh, oil is being pumped around the gearbox now. So we'll keep on pumping some more in. You can see that Joe's pulling it through the gears. Pull it through the gears again, Joe. And see how much extra we're pumping it in. This is really important that the car is running at this point. And in drive. Okay, so we leave it in drive and make sure um, the oil is getting pumped around through the valve body, through the oil pump and the cooler and everything. And uh, you can see the oil coming out there saying that we've got the correct level. So we can uh, pull the filler out, put the plug back in, that's job done on this one. Obviously we'll give that a clean up, but um, now you guys know how to service this ZF6HP26. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel if it helps you out, and there'll be more sort of similar content. Uh, take care guys.